and welcome to Tabletop Gaming. My name is Charlie and it is my favourite time of year. It might be a bit of a stretch, I kind of like Christmas too, but February not only marks my birthday, mm -hmm, but also Zine Quest. And Zine Quest is a really epic and cool little thing that happens every year around February. I'll talk more about why that's around February, um, but it's something to look out for and I want to talk about it today in case you're not familiar with it. All right, let's wind it back. What is Zine Quest? Zine Quest began life a couple of years ago as a Kickstarter thing. Um, it was basically a case of, do you know what? If you upload your, this specific type of project over the course of this month, we will promote it. You have to fill certain guidelines, you have to fill certain parameters, um, and we will tell everyone about it. And Zine Makers went, this is great. So what were those parameters? Okay, so the general gist of it, because it has developed a little bit, um, is that it is for tabletop RPG creators. So from the big ones generally aren't too interested in zines, but the smaller creators that maybe want to do their first zine or, or their later zines or their smaller zines, this is their opportunity to be able to say, hey, look, I've got something cool and be part of that promotional package that comes with being all together during Zine Quest. There are, in theory, limitations, so it should only be something like 16 pages long, it should have only a colour front cover and then be black and white inside and be stapled I think. But it has developed from that, it is no longer just that, it is basically uh, sort of a indie RPG creator month is probably the best way to put it. Though admittedly these do air on the smaller side rather than your sort of indie RPG creators who create big books, we're talking smaller. And I love it. This is where you see some really innovative ideas from different people trying to work out cool things, doing their first TTRPGs, putting those out in the ether, like what happens if this happened? And oh, how can we do this? And because it's quite affordable in terms of people creating zines, it is then affordable in return. So you can pick up some really good bargains um, on some really cool sounding projects um, or even try and create your own. Now, whilst these aren't ones from uh, Zine Quest, um, this is the sort of thing that I'm talking about. This is exactly what I think of when I think of a zine. This is a CM Lowry one that he did um, about being stuck at a convention um, through Beyond Cataclysm. Um, so in this case, we have got color, but it's pretty short. There's not too much in there, um, but it's pretty standard. So this sort of um, idea of not being like, we're not talking a massive hardback book. We're not talking a D&D &D book here. We're just giving you all of the outline that you need for a cool RPG without being in too many pages. This is what we're talking about. Now, as I say, this is expanded a little bit. So you have Anna, for example, who did, this is Anna Blackwell, um, who did Apothecaria a little while ago for it, which is a bit more in depth. There's more in there. So um, different colours and such. There's illustrations. So it's a little bit a little bit more fancy, I guess, but it's also not because it's it's different is the way that it looks at. And um, this was also available through Zine Quest, but you get the idea in that they are shorter, smaller versions of it. Now, now many creators will save up until February to do this, and it also means that you, if you know that you're going to be looking at zines in February, you know to keep scrolling through Kickstarter, you're going to find some cool stuff, and that's why I quite like it because I know every February I'm going to buy a batch of new zines, I'm going to get some really cool stuff out of it, um, and I'm going be really excited by my Kickstarter deliveries for a little while. Now, has there been some confusion around this concept? Yes, because a little while ago, so to give you a little bit of extra context, um, Kickstarter just sort of didn't mention what was going on with Zine Quest. Um, it was gonna happen, but then it didn't happen, but then nobody was saying anything. And about two weeks before Zine Quest was about to happen, um, they announced, ah, no, okay, um, we're not going to do it now, we're going to do it in September instead. Their reason was to align with Gen Con. How successful that did is mixed, we've got some in interesting stats on that, but it does mean that the creators that are used to having a sort of cash injection in February, had everything prepared for February, now had nothing. So, in comes Zine Month, which is a sort of like a, a creator-led slash fan-led crowdfunding attempt that occurred at this time. It's basically a replacement for Zine Quest without being Zine Quest. It's Zine Month instead. Now that went across multiple different platforms. That wasn't just Kickstarter, that was also through Itch.io, it was also through Indiegogo, it was also through, I think a couple went on GameFound, I can't remember, a couple went on ones that I've never even heard of before. It did semi-okay. It did, it did pretty well for what it was. There weren't as many projects, it didn't raise as much money, but for a quickly made side version of it, it did incredibly well. Now, when Kickstarter then did their version in September, again, it wasn't, didn't have that much hubbub because it wasn't 
wasn't when expected um, and half the people had probably done it in February so there weren't that many people all very muddled but again did well enough and when you put the two of them together very successful year for zines separate they don't look as good however however the reason I say this is because we are back to normal programming we are back to February this year which is why you can get yourself involved so either either now is the time to write that RPG that you thought you were always going to do and never got round to because you're amongst good company lots of people doing their first one lots of advice available lots of groups you can join lots of people you can ask and say I think I've done this what do you think of this more people willing to play test because they're used to it this time of year etc etc or on the other side which is my side which is there is so much to look for so I will frequently check through the month of February um, as to what is on Kickstarter what cool projects there are and um, Twitter as well is a really good one to look for for the people that don't want to use Kickstarter for various reasons um, and there are some very very cool games coming out as a result like last year there was like a taskmaster based one but it was uh, it was just it was fascinating what comes out of people's minds and the um, ingenuity that you see from taking quite a cool little concept that you can sum up into a line and turning it into a whole game that people can play so if you like your zines if you like your ttrpgs now is a great time to have a look uh, and to see what's on there so there you go that's what zine quest is or zine month or zines in general that's what that is that's the parameters for it that's why it exists and that's how you can get involved too now there's so much that i want to hear from you guys i want to hear what you would normally back have you backed any in the past um, what sort of ones were your favourites? What were the best ones? Um, and have you seen those designers go on to do anything else? Are they still doing it? As well as, are you creating your own RPG? How is it going? What do you think of it? Have you done this previously? Have you got any advice? Um, because it's a really, I feel, a very community-led. Even though Kickstarter started this and did all the promotion for it initially, the the community that's around it, if you, if you have a look on Twitter around this time and Discord, you'll find really beautiful moments of people coming together to help out and to discuss and to go, I've done this, why is yours working and mine isn't? Okay, cool, let me change this, let me add this in. So there's a lot of scope for community within this, which is something that I love. And it's also really nice to know that you're supporting when you're backing different people trying new things um, and it might be the amount of people we have that are like right I'm gonna do this as my side project and then eventually they turn around and go no I can make a living out of this this is gonna be my career you're contributing towards that and that's something that's very cool in itself so let me know in the comments all of your thoughts on zine quest all of your thoughts on zines whether you purchase all of the previous and I cannot wait to read them but with that I will say thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day and don't forget to check out our website for cool things like tabletop gaming magazine and stuff that we talk about that is epic in general board games card games war games RPGs and more and hit like and subscribe because you know thanks have a great day guys and see you soon